So this is the first video of 2026 and I want to show you something very special in Bitwig Studio 6.0. It's not out yet, but it's probably released in the next few years, I think. So we head over to Bitwig Studio 6 and we want to create some kind of sound. So I'm using here uh, phase four. And yeah, let's use it actually on a bass sound. So I'm using here some kind of low note, something like this. Maybe here uh, we do this and we do a bit of distortion. Not too much. Okay, so usually I just record my automation and I use a shortcut for this. You can press this button here or you can use a shortcut. It's much faster. And then you play around on your, um, yeah, on your synthesizer. Right, and then I have this kind of automation recorded here and it plays back perfectly. That's okay. But sometimes you want to have this automation actually as a modulation stick to your notes. So the problem here is that this automation is tied to this note clip, but sometimes you want to play notes in a different, you know, in different place and uh, the automation you have to you have to copy and paste the automation around so to make it work but here we just copy this uh, automation and draw it into the modulation pane of the phase 4 synthesizer and we have now here a segments modulator and then all we have to do is we click this and modulate this uh, knob by 100% and we can pull this down and then we can also delete the old automation So now the modulator takes over and plays the same thing we just recorded, but only as a uh, modulator. And I wished we had some kind of modulator where you can record these type of um, movements because I really do this all the time and it's really nice. So um, we can also automate more of this. So why not use this here? Or maybe we add here some as a noise something like this okay record this okay so this is the next parameter we drag this in and we modulate this by 100 and we can delete this okay next one maybe this one okay you can also take this put this in here Modulate it, pull this down, delete, done. Um, maybe we do this here. Yeah, just a bit at the end. Same thing, copy over, delete. Yeah, with this kind of stuff, you can create nice little sounds just with the synthesizer, little movements. And it's not tied to the clip. You can see here there's no modulation there. It's just a note and we can play this note in, in different rhythms, uh, in different places. It's almost like a sample because we re-trigger all of these um, segment envelopes all the time. So it's very nice to have. Uh, let's do actually some more movements here. Um, I pull this up and I also make this monophonic. So maybe the pitch. Drag this down. Copy this and then modulate here the pitch by 12. And we are gonna delete this. I have to probably change this here um, to this. Maybe to minus 12, no. Yeah, 
that automation is basically here added to what I have. Maybe I need to go minus three. Something like this. Maybe I need to make it bipolar. Yeah, that's better. Okay, this, this is the solution. <laughs> Okay, um, what else? Uh, we can also add effects, of course. So we can maybe use a convolution reverb here. 100%. Uh, Something like this. And use a chain device. Uh, put this into the chain. Uh, use a tool. And we bring this to 50%. And maybe we analyze the loudness here. So it's roughly the same loudness. Maybe go to 40. And then we modulate here the tool uh, because we want to feed only parts of the sound into the reverb. Maybe use a delay here also. 50%. Let's try this out. Okay. Copy this. Put this in here. And we modulate here this by one. And we can just remove this. Done. Maybe a bit more. Was it this or was it that? I think it was this. Of course here the post FX, uh, these are not tied to voices. So when you play multiple voices at the same time, it's not gonna, you know, it's not split and you don't have polyphonic voices, but maybe if you use some uh, FX audio f effects, some grid based effects, then it's probably gonna work. Um, anyway, so yeah, I can do some more things here. Um, maybe an EQ back here or maybe a filter movement. Yeah, it's probably nice. Something like this. Uh, move it in here. And then we delete this here. Bam. And at the end, a filter plus a bit of saturation and maybe here a bit of low passing. Something like this. The more you do, the more movement there is and the better it sounds. <laughs> And again, you can play this multiple times in different different positions. And it re-triggers here every time. And it, it's it's like a sample, but it's not a sample, it's more like a synthesizer. And I do this sometimes lately. Uh, it's kind of interesting that you can do this now in Bitwig. Um, and also, of course, you can drag this the other way around, right? You can drag here some segments curves back into uh, back into the automation pane. Probably most people know this. Uh, but having here automation recorded on the fly and then just, just drag it into the modulation pane is really nice. And then you can play it on the keyboard. It's not only uh, interesting for bass sounds, also if you have lead sounds, pad sounds and so on. Uh, you just press these keys in multiple um, at multiple time or slightly delayed, and all your segments uh, envelopes c 
kind of evolve over time slightly differently. It's really nice. I wish they implemented some kind of modulator where you can record on the fly, just, you know, some type of knob and it records uh, a small little loop and then it just plays back every time you press a key. Would be so nice to have as a modulator. Maybe as an inspiration, Bitwig, please make it happen. Okay, that's it for the first video of 2026. I just want to um, push this out for some reason. I just did this in Bitwig and I want to show it to you. Um, I think it's a nice trick. Let me know what you think. Leave a like, leave a subscription. See you in the next video. Bye.